I am Dr. Vineet Suri. I am the I am a senior consultant neurologist at Indira Prastha Apollo Hospital, New Delhi, and I am the coordinator of the department of uh, neurosciences. Uh, I am going to talk on stroke, and as we know, stroke or brain attack is a disease where there is damage to the neurons of the brain, spinal cord, or of the retina due to a disturbance of the blood supply. The blood supply can be disturbed in about 80 to 85 percent because of reduction of blood supply, which leads to infarction of the brain. In about 10 to 15 percent of patients, there is rupture of the blood vessel, leading to seepage of blood into the brain, of blood into the brain substance, leading to what is called as brain hemorrhage. Stroke is a major medical emergency and a major cause of death or disability in the world. There are about 17 million strokes that happen uh, every year worldwide, of which about 6.5 million patients will lose their lives, and there uh, and about 5 million patients will remain with permanent disability. Every two seconds, there is one stroke happening somewhere in the world, and every six seconds, someone is losing life because of stroke. The, the statistics is so scary that about one in four persons above the age of 25 will suffer a stroke in their lifetime. But the good part, apart from these bad statistics, is that stroke is both treatable and preventable. Stroke, about 90% of stroke can be prevented by taking just simple measures about lifestyle. One, one should try to take care of blood pressure. If one is hypertensive, one should take regular medication. One should control diabetes, keep the HPA1C less than 7 by again by regular exercise, by diet modification and by, and by taking regular medication prescribed by the doctor. Uh, dyslipidemia or if there is high uh, cholesterol, then one should try to keep the LDL under, under, under check again by diet control and exercise and by medication. Obesity should be taken care of by maintaining a body uh, mass index of less than 25 by again lifestyle modification and regular exercises. One should stop smoking or tobacco chewing. That is a very, very major risk factor for stroke and anybody uh, who wants to reduce the risk of stroke should be completely stopping not only active smoking but also passive smoking. So if you have a partner who is smoking, Please prevent them also from smoking. Alcohol, if uh, somebody is using alcohol, then it should be used only in moderate amounts, uh, allowing only two drinks uh, per day for uh, men and one drink uh, for females. If there is an underlying cardiac disorder, uh, especially like atrial fibrillation, that should be taken care of by proper medication. And regular exercise is also very important. So one should try to prevent a sedentary life pattern. One should do regular exercise and 30 to 45 minutes of moderate exercise like a brisk walk, even three to five times a week is extremely helpful in reducing the risk of stroke. So if one can try to cut down, if one can control diabetes well, one can control blood pressure well, one can control cholesterol, stop smoking, do not drink or drink only in moderation and reduce your weight and do regular exercises this will be this will prevent almost 90% of strokes the other good part is that stroke is also treatable which is if somebody suffers a stroke one can actually reverse the problem that is happening in the brain but this can happen only if the stroke is identified fairly early and one is getting treatment in what is called as the golden hours of stroke. The first four and a half hours are called as the golden hours where one can get a drug called intravenous thrombolytic drug which can be given into the vein and that can open up the vessel. How to recognize a stroke is very extremely important because a lot of patients do not understand that they have stroke and they miss the initial window period where they can get these therapies. So the mnemonic to remember is called as BEFAST, B-E-F-A-S-T. B stands for sudden onset of balance problem. So if somebody experiences a sudden onset of balance problem, this could be a stroke. E stands for eye or visual problem. So loss of vision in one eye or loss of vision in one half of eye can also be a symptom of a stroke. F stands for facial droop. So if the patient is smiling or speaking and the face is tilted to one side, a facial droop may be an indicator of a stroke. A stands for arm drift. So if there is an arm weakness, if you raise your arm and the arm tends to drift down, you cannot maintain its posture. So arm or leg weakness with a drift is also a sign of stroke and S stands for speech. So if there is slurring of speech or there is a difficulty in speaking or comprehending speech, that again is a sign of stroke. So if you have symptoms of B fast, it's time to act fast and what will happen is you should rush 
to the closest hospital which has facilities to manage stroke. So I think the good part that one should remember is the, the take home messages here is stroke is both preventable and treatable. It, one has to identify the stroke fairly early by the mnemonic B fast and one should reach within the golden hours to get the recanalization therapy. So I think we should all strive together to fight this disabling menace and reduce death and disability in, in, uh, that can be caused uh, by this disabling disease called stroke or brain attack. Thank you.